Do any of you ever do that? Maybe you like, you wanna be nice to your spouse and you're trying to make up and the next thing you know, you're yelling or you wanna save money, but instead you go shopping. You want to trust God with something, but instead you just worry and you worry and you worry. And it makes me wonder sometimes, why is it that we want one thing, but we decide to do something completely different? Why do we behave so irrationally? The reason is, because in our minds, we often have the wires crossed. For example, it starts even very young. If the baby wants a sucker and says, I want sucker. And mom says, no sucker. And the baby starts to cry. And the mom gives the baby a sucker. The baby's brain says, crying gets me a sucker. Hey, here's what happens. And the more we think a thought, the easier it is to think that thought again. In fact, we're gonna look at Philippians chapter four. Apostle Paul was writing this from a Roman prison. He was locked up on house arrest, not an ideal situation. In fact, a very uh, terrifying place to be awaiting possible execution. This was kind of like worst case scenario. And let me tell you what he didn't say. God let me down. I can't go on with life. Couldn't get any worse than this. One final thing from a Roman prison. He said, fix your thoughts on what is true. Fix your thoughts on what is honorable. Fix your thoughts on what is right and pure and lovely and admirable. In fact, if you look at scripture, there are many examples of godly people meditating on the things that are true and lovely and admirable and excellent, meditating on the power of God's word. If you don't control what you think, you'll never be able to control what you do. And you need to focus on what is true. Fix your minds on the things of God. It matters because your life is always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. What stronghold is holding you back? What would you say is the top wrong mindset that's holding you hostage. What truth, what spiritual truth from God demolishes that stronghold? Well, you, you may be lacking confidence. Every time you come in, you feel insecure, you feel inadequate, you feel like you're not enough. And so your statement is gonna be this. My confidence is in Christ and Christ alone. Because his spirit lives within me, I can do everything he calls me to do it. You're gonna write it, think it, confess it until you believe it. Let it be born out of God's word and write a statement that creates emotional energy toward the truth of God. Then you're gonna write it, think it, confess it until you believe it. Our brain is creating new neural pathways, pathways according to the truth, and God is renewing your mind.